Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfoTech.com and on this video we'll go through the steps to do a clean installation of Windows 10 with the October 2018 update, also known as version 1809. A clean installation simply means erasing everything on your computer and installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. This will not only help you to avoid upgrade problems, but you will be starting with a new installation, which can also improve system performance and fix existing issues. However, keep in mind that a clean installation deletes everything on your computer, so always create a full backup before proceeding. You can check the video description below to find the link to the video with the steps to create a full backup, and additional information such as the release date for this update and more. In this tutorial, we'll be using the media creation tool to create a USB bootable media to install Windows 10 version 1809. You can get the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website and I will be leaving a link to download this tool in the video description below. Once you're on the website, click the download tool now button, save it, and once you do that, open the downloads folder, double click the executable, click yes. Click the accept button, select the uh, create installation media for another PC option and click next. The media creation tool will detect automatically the language edition and architecture that you need to install the new version of Windows 10 and the computer that you're downloading the files from. But if you're preparing a USB media for another computer, make sure to select the uh, correct settings to install the October 2018 update. Once you select your settings, click next. Select the USB flash drive option and make sure that you have a backup of any data on this drive because it will get erased when you click next. When you're ready, click the next button. Select the USB drive that you want to use and click next. Once the media has been created, click finish, keep the USB drive connected and reboot your computer. Also you have to make sure that your device can boot from USB. Usually to boot a PC from USB, you need to change the BIOS or UEFI settings, which is pretty much different on every device. So make sure to check your PC manufacturer website for more details. However, typically you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions, delete or escape keys on the keyboard during boot. After restarting your computer with the bootable media in the Windows setup, click Next. Click Install Now. If Windows 10 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter a product key. After installation, Windows 10 will reactivate automatically. So then to continue, click the I don't have a product key option. If prompt, select your correct version of Windows 10. In my case, it's Windows 10 Pro and then click next. Check this option to accept the license terms and click next. Now select the custom option to do a clean install of Windows 10 with the October 2018 update. Now you need to select the drive that you want to use to install Windows 10. If you have multiple partitions, you can select each one and click the delete button to create a single big partition to install the operating system. Just remember that removing partitions will also delete any data stored on them. Also, keep in mind that you only need to remove the partitions on the hard drive that you want to use to install Windows 10. If you have multiple hard drives, you don't need to delete the partitions on them. After deleting the partitions, select the unallocated space and click Next. And now a fresh copy of Windows 10 with the October 2018 update will begin installing on your computer.
there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Now we're going to use the out-of-box experience to finish setting up the installation. Select your region and then click Yes. Select your keyboard layout and click Yes. We're only setting up one keyboard layout so we can click the Skip button. We are setting up a computer for home use, so select the Setup for Personal Use option and click Next. To create a new account on Windows 10, we're going to be using a Microsoft account. So on this box, enter your email address, phone, or Skype ID that is associated with your Microsoft account. And click Next. Enter the password for your Microsoft account. And click Next. Alongside your password, Microsoft also wants you to create a PIN for your Windows 10 account, so click the Create PIN button. If you want to skip this step, you can click Cancel and continue with the steps, but it is recommended that you set up a PIN to access your account on Windows 10. Once you've created your PIN, click OK. You also get an option to link your phone to your PC, but that's something that you can do later on. So in this step, click Do It Later. In this part of the setup, you can decide whether or not to use OneDrive. I do want to use OneDrive to protect my files, so I'm going to click Next. If you want to let Cortana to respond to the Hey Cortana voice command, check that option here. And if you're OK using the Personal Assistant on Windows 10, click the Accept button. If you want to use cross-device experiences, such as Timeline, and other features to resume activities you were working in the past, you need to let Windows 10 collect your PC activities. To do that, click Yes to continue. In this part of the setup, you get the opportunity to choose your privacy settings. Make sure to reach each one and disable those privacy settings you don't want to use. As you disable a privacy settings, you will also get a description of what will happen if you disable that particular setting. You can always turn it back on, or you can also re-enable the privacy settings from the settings sub within Windows 10. Once you choose your privacy settings, click the Accept button. Once you're back on the desktop, the last thing to do is to go to the settings sub and make sure to download the latest updates, if any of them are available. And remember to reinstall your apps and restore your files from backup. Here is a quick tip. If you want to know if you're actually running the Windows 10 October 2018 update, you can use the Windows key plus V keyboard shortcut, which should open the new keyboard experience that is only available on Windows 10 version 18.09 or later. If using the keyboard shortcuts open this experience, then you're running the latest version of Windows 10. And that's how you do a clean installation of Windows 10 with the October 2018 update. Please make sure to check the video description for important information such as the release date for this new version of the operating system and other details. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.